It's my favorite restaurant in Dallas. It's called Petra and the Beast. Misty Norris is the head chef and she is creative. Last time I had that, the broccoli salad, that was amazing, but you said the pea salad is just as good. Okay, do you want a cheese I would love some pita. What? Pasta sounds good. They all sound good. Try the goat cheese. And goat and mushroom? Yeah. So in addition to just loving this place, we chose to come here tonight so that we could taste test wine unfiltered and filtered. I really don't get hangovers from wine. I do get kind of flush and red, and apparently that's caused by the histamine in the wine, and supposedly the wine wand removes that from the wine. This is essentially our control. We're going to see how I flush. We're going to see how Megan feels in the morning after drinking wine all night, and then we're gonna do it all over again. So make sure you Tune in to tomorrow's episode as well to see the dramatic conclusion to all of this. The food's all amazing here. It's all amazing. It's like locally sourced, delicious. Right, this is a cheese board here. Oh. oh, that looks great. Yummy. Blue cheese is all will, yours. Will you take my picture with this, please? Yes. Oh my god, that's amazing. How does wine normally make you feel? Mainly, if I drink wine, I get a headache, especially red wine, a pretty terrible headache. And um, then I guess alcohol in general like makes my joints hurt, especially yeah. my knees, and like makes me feel anxious. But yeah, red wine headaches are not good. So red's worse than wine for you? We're putting this wine to the test and we're gonna see how Megan feels tonight and in the morning. This cheese with this whip, mm -hmm. and then some of this mousse. Mm -hmm. Like one glass in, you can see I'm reddish. It's hard to tell if that's from being that's, in the sun all day yesterday, from being a little bit warm. That's because warm. you don't wear sunscreen and burn yourself every time you go out there. <laughs> May have ruined this whole test. Oh well. This is like the ideal New Year's meal. It's like black eyed peas and all the goodies. You're going to eat it all. I'm going to try to. Why do you think I handed you the camera? Very sneaky. No, you can have the rest. quality of the dishes is like five star every time. Top tier excellence. And it's a real chill environment. It's like in a gas station. Yeah. It's like bohemian kind of. It's like yeah. hipster cool with amazing food, complex flavors. <laughs> everything, everything I've had here has been amazing. You might be allergic to the wine. Maybe. Some histamines. Maybe. I mean, I have, I have a naturally uh, red complexion. I don't know that I'm more red than usual. It doesn't seem to be too bad today. Maybe I built up a tolerance. I'm going to make a happy cheese board. I think you have. Excellent meal, excellent wine, and I don't feel the histamine, but we're gonna see how she feels in the morning. I have to wake up at like six in the morning. You're saying you do wanna go home, watch a movie, and finish that second bottle of wine? No, more wine. <laughs> more than I usually drink. I wanted to hear your, your best hangover story. Well, maybe my best wine hangover. It was actually maybe my first, like, to ever get sloshed. <laughs> On wine would be back in, I'm going to say, over 10 years ago, not to date myself, in grad school, when my nice roommate, Alan, 
uh, came to crash a study session with me and two other of my grad school friends. We maybe had been drinking before he arrived. And then long story short, he ended up wearing my friend's pants home the next morning when he had to go to work at the <laughs> hospital <laughs> at like five. I mean, that happens. It does happen. Oh my God, my head hurts so bad. Um, I think we need to, just for science sake, go home, finish that no, second bottle of wine. I literally have a client at eight in the morning. I can't Well, that'll be wait. a great test to see how, no. see how you feel during the client meeting. I have to be professional. Well, then I guess that's going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, you know what to do. Hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, follow on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the places. Oh, my God. And make sure you watch the next episode because that's where you're going to see how she feels in the morning. And we're going to try the wine wand and see if that is better for us. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, look how nice downtown looks.